Benjamin Franklin helped to draft the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, and he negotiated the 1783 Treaty of Paris, which ended the Revolutionary War. His scientific pursuits included investigations into electricity, mathematics, and map making. A printer and writer known for his wit and wisdom, Franklin was a polymath who published Poor Richard's Almanac, invented bifocal glasses, and organized the first successful American lending library. In 1761, Ben designed the glass harmonica, or armonica as its creator liked to call it, the first musical instrument born in America. Ludwig Beethoven and Wolfgang Mozart wrote music for Franklin's harmonica. However, by the early part of the 19th century, the once popular instrument had largely fallen out of use. During Franklin's life, the average person never traveled more than 20 miles from their home. Franklin, on the other hand, spent 27 years of his life overseas, made eight voyages across the Atlantic Ocean, and was the first to map the Gulf Stream. Many people know that Ben Franklin owned a printing company and the Pennsylvania Gazette. But it may be new knowledge that his company also printed all of the paper money for Pennsylvania and Delaware. Beginning in 1929, his face would grace the front of the $100 bill, and people would call them Benjamins in his honor. Benjamin Franklin was more than just a politician and statesman. He was also strongly involved in science and inventions, but never actually patented any of his inventions. He wrote, As we enjoy great advantages from the inventions of others, we should be glad of an opportunity to serve others by any invention of ours, and this we should do freely and generously. Franklin is sometimes jokingly referred to as the only U.S. president to have never been U.S. president. This references the fact that many people, even today, mistakenly assume that Franklin served as president of the United States, like other well-known founding fathers including Washington, Jefferson, and John Adams. While he was never president, Franklin did serve as governor of Pennsylvania. He was also the first United States ambassador to France and Sweden and the first ever U.S. Postmaster General. In 1748, Franklin, then 42 years old, had expanded his printing business throughout the colonies and became successful enough to stop working. Retirement allowed him to concentrate on public service and also pursue more fully his longtime interest in science. In addition to electricity, Franklin studied a number of other topics, including ocean currents, meteorology, causes of the common cold, and refrigeration. Benjamin Franklin founded a group known as the Junto. Initially consisting of 12 members with different backgrounds, the group would meet in taverns, have a drink, and discuss philosophical and societal matters. The Junto is where Franklin would come up with some of his civic ideas, like founding a public hospital, a lending library, and even the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> 